You, the president travels to Miami today to announce new changes to the U.S. Cuba policy, but his agenda overshadowed by those breaking developments in the Russia investigation. The president pushing back once again, calling it a witch hunt, aiming to undermine the probe, which is enveloping not only him, but now those closest to him as well. This morning, new signs the Russia probe is reaching into new places. The Washington Post reporting special counsel Robert Mueller is investigating the business dealings of one of President Trump's top advisors, son-in-law Jared Kushner. An attorney for Kushner telling NBC News, we do not know what this report refers to. It would be standard practice for the special counsel to examine financial records to look for anything related to Russia. Mr. Kushner previously volunteered to share with Congress what he knows about Russia-related matters. He will do the same if he is contacted in connection with any other inquiry. The inquiry at the top of the president's mind, Mueller now investigating him for possible obstruction of justice after he fired FBI director James Comey. Do you believe that you are under investigation now? The president not responding to reporters, but later lashing out in an afternoon tweet storm Thursday, trying to shift the focus to his former rival, Hillary Clinton. Why is that Hillary Clinton's family and Dems dealings with Russia are not looked at, but my non-dealings are? Crooked H destroyed phones with hammer, bleached emails, and had husband meet with AG days before she was cleared. And they talk about obstruction? Clinton was cleared of any wrongdoing. Still, candidate Trump repeatedly warned a Clinton presidency would be mired in scandal. Hillary Clinton will be under investigation for a long, long time. But now that Mr. Trump is the one under investigation, his team isn't taking any chances. Vice President Mike Pence is the latest to hire an outside attorney, Richard Cullen, a seasoned federal criminal attorney who's no stranger to complicated political cases. In a statement overnight, the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein seemed to cast doubt on the latest Russia reporting, saying in a statement, quote, Americans should exercise caution before accepting as true any stories attributed to anonymous officials, particularly when they do not identify the country, let alone the branch or agency of government with which the alleged sources supposedly are affiliated. Now, as for the president's Cuba announcement, he's expected to make it a lot harder for Americans to travel or do business in Cuba, fulfilling a key campaign promise and also reversing a part of a major Obama era policy. Savannah, Matt, Kristen Walker at the White House. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.